Good people, how are you doing out there? It's a wonderful Monday. And we gotta talk about Donald Trump and DACA. The truth is that Democrats don't care about Latinos. They don't care about DACA recipients. They don't really care about them at all. And Donald Trump has gone for the win again and has showed without a shadow of a doubt that Democrats are liars, they're phony, and they don't care about these supposed people, these DACA recipients, that they cry and scream and try to shut down the government over. I know many people on the Republican conservative side, like myself, were very concerned when Donald Trump was talking about DACA and how he offered up DACA, and then just recently how he went even further and said he was gonna give 1.8 million people pretty much amnesty, or put them on the pathway to citizenship. But he was also gonna get funding for the border wall, which is necessary. He was also going to get an end to chain migration and an end to the uh, visa lottery system, which is a win. But the 1.8 million people, which is 250% more than just the DACA recipients by themselves, caught a lot of people off guard. And they're like, oh my gosh. They were calling Donald Trump Amnesty Don and all this other different stuff. But Donald Trump was thinking ahead. Now, if it was Donald Trump's idea or if it was people in his cabinet and he bought into it, Donald Trump was playing, once again, he was playing chess and not checkers. Because what happened Chuck Schumer and the rest of the Democrats dug their feet into the ground and said, absolutely not. We will not accept a deal with this 1.8 million illegal aliens. We won't go for amnesty. We won't agree to these terms. So now what Donald Trump has shown, even when Republicans bend over backwards and give you 250% more than what you asked for, you're still not willing to take a deal. Which lets the DACA people know it's not about DACA to them. They just want to really keep DACA open because it's the political tool that they can try to beat Republicans and conservatives with. As long as DACA's around, they keep on pointing at DACA talking about how Republicans don't care. But then when Donald Trump takes the big, bold move and says, I'll give 1.8 million people amnesty, the, the Democrats, they can't relent. They don't care. People, if you're watching this video and you are a DACA applicant or seeking DACA, understand this. The Democrats don't care about you. They want your vote, but they don't want to give you what you want. They just want your vote. And matter of fact, they love if you just vote illegally, especially in my state in California. You can vote illegally if you want to. Nobody's checking your ID. I've gone accidentally to polling stations that I thought were the, or the voting station, the polling place I was supposed to go to, and it wasn't. And I go there and they give me my provisional ballot. They don't ask me for an ID. I just fill it out. Throw it in. And if the race was really that close, my vote would be used. Of course, being a conservative in California, at this point right now, my vote is pointless. But once again, Donald Trump going for the win, exposing the Democrats. And it's really, it's so easy. Because the Democrats, they have nothing. They have no economic agenda that is actually feasible. That's why they... That's why Democrats never put anything forward about economics. They don't put anything forward that's really truly gonna work for immigration outside of, we just want these illegals to all get amnesty pretty much, which they know will never happen, but they know as long as that point is out there, they keep on screaming that Republicans are racist and that white people are born depraved and hate anybody that doesn't look like them. Even though a majority of black people are not favorable towards illegal immigration 
And I don't know why certain people like uh, giving amnesty, blanket amnesty to people, even though illegal immigration is causing much downward pressure and much downward uh, negative impacts on minorities, especially blacks, especially teenage blacks. But I don't know. People need to wise up. These politicians, especially on the Democrat side, they don't care about you. They don't. And here's a re also the reality. If you're looking for a politician to help you to get to where you need to be in life, you're already failing. Look, I'm going to get to where I need to be in life because I have faith in God. I know that Jesus is going to get me to where I need to be, and he's going to give me the success I need to have. And I'm going to trust in him, and I'm going to work my tail off, and I'm going to get there. I'm not going to complain if it's in a destination that I didn't think was going to be. That's the best place for me. But I'm not looking for a politician to solve my issues and take care of my life. But one thing I know for sure <laughs> is that the Democrats don't care about you. All they care about is your vote. And they know as long as they scream, try to shut down the government like some childish babies, that they might win you over because all they care about is emotions. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Once again, no matter how you feel about Donald Trump, he is playing chess, especially with this immigration, and he ain't playing checkers. And he just knocked a couple bishops, a couple rooks, and a couple pawns right off the board game again. Anyways, y'all, that's my time. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, leave a comment. If there's something you want me to address or talk about, by all means, I'd love to do that. And uh, once again, please subscribe as I keep on putting out the content. I love you guys. Talk to you later. See you on the next one. I'm out.